Shimmer from the Domination. Hello everyone, my name is Paige. In this video, um, I just wanted to show you kind of how to make a uh, Minecraft, or not necessarily Minecraft, I didn't mean to say that, but a, um, it can be a YouTube icon, I guess. Um, if everything goes well, that's this. that is what I will use for my YouTube profile picture. Basically, it's just your own custom icon. So, with this, um, well, before I start, everything that I'm going to be using that you can download is GIMP, um, let me see, 2.8.6. I don't know if that's the latest version or not, but it works just fine. Um, so that's something you download. It's free, by the way. And then here, on my YouTube channel, the, um, please don't ring it in. Oh, gosh. But this, t to get my text... Um, I, by the way, I use this to make it, but the text I use is TextCraft. So say your YouTube, your YouTube name is like, or your business name or whatever is awesome. Um, you could just type in everything is really self-explanatory on this website. Um, there really isn't anything hard on it or anything. Uh, you can, you know, change. Yeah. So that's that's really it. There isn't. It's not hard. So now, now to start. Just gonna um, I my icon. I kind of want it to be a badge, so I think that this is actually a good one. So, say this. Let's just go ahead and save it to our desktop, and we'll just say YouTube. Um. Hmm. Icon. Let's just save it as that. Save me to our desktop. Okay, there we go. Oh, I need to close this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up GIMP. And hopefully this doesn't take forever to load here. Let's open that up. And it does kind of, for me at least, it takes a while to upload. Um, or open, I mean, sorry. Come on. No, you can do it. <laughs> so basically, um, I did use it to to do my YouTube background. It's um, really, really easy. And I know that most people say it's like Photoshop. Okay, this this is not taking forever. Um, and a lot it says people say it's like Photoshop and um, it's free and so it's TextCraft by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, all free. So I think I'm going to cut to when this will finally um, open. Alright guys, so I'm sorry, I, I could have just waited like a little bit. And I was very impatient because I opened like 15 of them. Um, but I went through and closed them. So here we go, we're going to go to File here. New. I guess 800 by 800 would be okay. I'm not really good with like this type of thing. I don't like know this. I I really don't know if 800 if by 800 is good. Let's just go ahead and try that. Um, hey, where's our bed? Okay, so let's just jag and bloop. Um, let's just make this bigger. So over here are your tools. We're just gonna go ahead and make this bigger. Or how big we want it? We'll just kind of have it in the center. So, and then. This is basically to move it around. A tool, uh, I want it in the middle. Hey, I want it to be bigger. Oh yeah, we didn't hit okay. All right, scale. Uh, I kind of wanted it a little bit bigger than that. All right, and scale that. Good, 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 good. So now. I want my channel background. This is your text text that you added. And there it is. Oh, we forgot our tools. Okay. So yeah, this is actually coming together better than I thought. This, and by the way, this is your layer. So uh, my text is on a different layer, and then my um, <coughs> my bat is on a different layer. So let's just make this a little bit bigger. And then we'll make the uh, text a little smaller. Um, just go to that page and let's scale it down a little bit. Yeah, I guess we can have it kind of come off of it. 
and by the way where I got the badge from I just googled it badge and but you know if you want yours to be you know whatever else then you can just use that um so now what I kind of to be honest I actually like this the way it is but if you don't and you kind of want something in the background though this is well what did I click um though this is just gonna be your business thing this is um kind of something that I figured out it's kind of like a uh, thumbnail background that is what it's called so basically I'm just gonna make this as big as everything and alright it doesn't get the exactly the whole thing and you just drop this down I like that a lot. <laughs> I'm really feeling for it now. So basically you can uh, Google thumbnail background and then it'll get something kind of like this with the streaks. Then what I did, I just drag it. It's on top of it. But you know, I can make it go underneath the text and make the, stand, the text stand out. I can make it go underneath the badge and make the badge stand out, which we do not want. Because I don't know why it looks like that. Um, oh, I don't know why, because it's not transparent. Alright, so I think we wanted the bad this to be standing out. I really, really like this. So basically, that's all you have to do. Um. So now all I have to do is export it. Export. I think that you're supposed to save it. Oh, I'm not going to do that. We'll just save it as. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we could just save it as. Move that out the way. YouTube icon. And then say, go ahead and save this as the JPG. JPG. I don't know why to save it. Okay. And then save it to our desktop. Go ahead and export it. And put it at a 55. Or 56. That's nice too. <laughs> Uh, because you don't want it to be blurry or anything, so let's export that. <coughs> I'm sorry, very sorry about that. So we can, well, we can, we can close that. But so now, um, let's just go here. Go ahead and go to our YouTube. All right, Google Plus. That's you can help us now. That's really, really nice. We appreciate that. I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's just wait for this to load, and then we'll go ahead and um, let's select photo from our computer. Go to our desktop. What did we call it? We called it YouTube icon. It was this one. Say it as a JPG. Let's go ahead and open it. And there we go. There's our icon that we know and love. I'm just going to want it to make it smaller. Yeah. So that's profile photo. But yeah, so basically that's it for this. Um, that That's really it. I guess we, well, we need to refresh this. And yeah, that's basically how you make your own icon. Or you know, if you want it to be something else, then that can work too. Anyways, hope you hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the description um, for GIMP, and leave a like if you enjoyed, um, and maybe even subscribe for more videos. Bye.